on with you right now. Let me just sort of fill you in. Amanda is aging differently than all of you. You're aging the way we were supposed to age, the way God intended, okay? You just get older until you die. But what we have learned just recently in the last few years is that there is a fountain of youth that every one of you have. You just don't know how to use it. We figured out how to use this fountain of youth and how to make it work. And we are about to change the world. And we are doing it one mask at a time. All what is right. That? Now, Amanda is aging, as I said, differently. What is happening is that her blood is flowing better, she's sleeping better, and things are beginning to happen to her, getting easier. Now, have you noticed anything about stress? Oh yeah, I don't, um, nothing really stresses me out anymore. I take it in, I process it, I'm like, all right, so then these are the steps to do it. Before I'd be like, okay, now I gotta do this. Tony would always tell me, oh my God, chill out, just feed her or something like that. Now I, I don't really stay up at night. I used to stay up at night, go on my phone, look at emails, different things, I gotta finish this, I gotta get that. Now I'm just like, you know, I'm gonna put on the mask and I'll worry about it tomorrow which is a really big thing for us because we're either in a plane or in a car. Tony and I were in California maybe a week and a half every month. That's stress enough, just going from day to day to day. Have a hard time sleeping. Um, also, as being a woman, sorry men for your ears real quick, as you know, we have our monthly cycle as well. I don't get cramps. I don't get, it, it changes your hormones. I don't get upset. It's harder to pressure me, to get me upset, to make me uncomfortable. Usually I would know when it's coming. Now I'm like, oh, it's just gonna come because I don't get those cramps. I don't get uncomfortable. I don't get irritated. You know, we have three kids and I'm just like, I'm like one of them now completely because I, if they're loud, I'm louder than them. Let's do this. I just take them to Disneyland like every other day. <laughs> Excellent. Now, one of the things that you'll notice when you start to use the mask. And as I said, the fountain of youth, it's, a, it's been staring you in the face. Every morning when you get up to put on your makeup, shave, whatever, the fountain of youth has been given to you. It is your nose. Simple. Breathing through your nose. Oh, am I moving too much for you? <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> okay. You've heard about Buddhist monks, meditating, humming. You've heard about yoga, taking up yoga, working with yoga, breathing, breathing, breathing. All those things produce something called nitric oxide. Now, has anybody even heard of nitric oxide? If you raise your hand, you've heard of it. Anybody? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Not too many people have heard about it. There's a reason for that. There's a lady that's going to be coming up here in a minute. I'd like to challenge her to say, hey, she's a doctor in the medical school. How much training did you have on nitric oxide? If any, very little. The reason is, it's new. It's relatively new. Now, I'm sure you've been hearing it on radio, on TV, uh, Viagra, things like that. That's all nitric oxide. Okay, now what nitric oxide basically is the most important discovery in the 20th century as far as medicine is concerned. And three people got the Nobel Prize in 1998 for discovering, and they're all doctors, what was called the nitric oxide pathway. And from there, over 200,000 medical studies have been done on nitric oxide. There is not one disease, one ailment, one anything that has not been tested and studied by uh, and what the effects of nitric oxide are. But you don't even know about it. What you have heard about is oxygen, right? Anybody here know about oxygen? Oh yeah. No problem, they are up. What's happening to Amanda right now, and it takes time, 
In the beginning, the first thing she'll do is fall asleep. That's guaranteed. And why do I say it's guaranteed? I can't, how can I even say that? Well, we just finished a six-month study in the city of Kiel, which is in, in Berlin, as, as a suburb of Berlin, Germany. A university there, I don't know, I can't pronounce the name, I've got it written over here, you can come down and see it, you got the study. Sure, we just finished up in May. <laughs> oh, did you get it? Oh, can you know it was up there? Oh, there it is, can you pronounce that? Anybody can pronounce that one? Schlaus, will you join Hitler on all I can't do it. In other words, what did they discover then? What happened? Sleep, 20 people, they can sleep better, they did this study for six months. Amanda's only been 20, I mean, uh, half of that, 90 days. In six in another 90 days, there will be another new Amanda here. Every 90 days, that's the way the body heals. There is, will be a better, healthier, stronger, prettier Amanda. Why? Because she will be aging differently than you. Six months from now, are you going to be better? Wrinkles. Tell you. you know, um... When I, when I first learned about the mask, I got to see some amazing things happen, and that's why we really seeked him out, helping somebody. Um, when you hit about 40 years old, your nitric oxide drops about 25%. That's when you start getting your wrinkles, you start healing, it takes a little bit longer to heal. When you're 18, 19, you get a cut, you get healed right away, right? Your stress is different. Well, because it's all a chemical or reaction as well. When you stress, it takes longer to heal. You get stressed, you get sick. Well, when your nitric oxide drops, that's when you start getting your back aches. Your hormones start getting un unbalanced. Um, your circulation starts, you know, changing up a little bit. But what this does, it puts it back to that 100%. So that way you're not gonna be getting those expression lines of wrinkles. And if you already have them, it soothes them out. It will soothe them out. We have before and after pictures of people and we have testimonies of people that you look at them and they're 60 years old, they look better being 60 than they did 55 because they've been using the mask for six months. You're gonna be like, oh wow, did you grow younger? Because how much money do we spend on, I've been, I've been using cream on my face since I was 15, just because I was like, I never want those wrinkles, right? And how much do we spend on cream as women that we want to always look younger? Well, it does. Your face gets tighter, if you have anything on your neck, that actually pulls up. We have some awesome pictures of people. It reverses what's been going on. And what's even more important than that your outer beauty is your inner beauty. All right? <laughs> In other words, what we're talking about here is investing with the mask, not only do you get to invest in the kingdom because we are part of the kingdom, but you get to invest with the most precious piece of property you got. And that's you. You only get one of you. That's it. And when you get to be my age, it gets scary. You start losing friends. Half the people you know, cancer, a lot, okay, they're there. Brain tumors, I can't tell you how many. In my case, for the last four years, I have been using a mask longer than anybody in the United States of America except for one person. I have been using the mask that we have here longer than anybody in the United States of America. I am stronger. I am tougher, I am smarter, and I am better. And fortunately for you people, Amanda and Tony, two very smart people, came to us. And after listening to them, for four or five months, I decided we really need to be part of this community. I've been trying to retire for so many years, it's ridiculous. Yeah, but I seem to be getting drugged back in. 
because everybody comes to me. As one of my customers said, she says, how quit fighting it. God wants you to be here. And I do believe it now. The humming mask is the most incredible piece of equipment, supplements, whatever. As I said before, it is your nose. The mask stimulates cells in your nose. I'm going to tell you this. They didn't even know those cells were even there until 1995. That's how the early, uh, how, I mean, how new this is. Okay? Your nose is there. Why? Because that's the way you're supposed to breathe, not through your mouth. And why? The air we breathe is 78% nitrogen and 20% oxygen. Nitric oxide is one molecule of nitrogen and one molecule of oxygen. They come together in the nose. And as we grow older, plaque, cholesterol, whatever, too many antibiotics, she'll be the, she's the expert on that, it takes, it damages us. And our ability to produce nitric oxide diminishes and diminishes almost every year. In other words, Amanda, the old Amanda, was 10%, she had dropped in 10% of production from the time she was 20. And by the time she hits 40, she will have dropped 20%. By the time you hit 50, 60, man, at 60, you're making 15%. In other words, you've lost 85% of your ability to produce nitric oxide. It's called aging. The humming mass stimulates the nose. And we have other tools that go with it to produce nitric oxide in unbelievable numbers, and if you just use it for an hour a day, for 90 days, your life will change. I know mine has. I'm 67 years old. Jack? Oh, you got a whoop in there. <laughs> I don't act like I'm 67 years old. Really? So, enjoy a lot better. Okay. All right. We're, we're gonna get. To we're gonna get to that here in a second. We're gonna talk about. Do we have pictures over? She's in, the picture is next. Do you okay. want to talk this first, and then, or should I show the picture now? Can show the pictures, please. How old is she? Right here. Madame von Hahn was 97 years old with the first picture. She had full-blown dementia. She's 97, they put her in a home. This is in the, in the, uh, uh, the, the city of, uh, suburb of the city of Hague, which is uh, the Netherlands or, or Dutch um, area. Now, she got on the mask the same time I got on the mask, okay? She got on it when she was 101 years old. But she could not wash, she could not eat by herself, she couldn't do anything by herself. Everything had to be done for her. Turn on the TV, turn on the TV, she just sat in front of the TV from the time she was 97 until she was 101. She never turned the channel. The second picture you see here, 2016, she'd been on the mask for about a year. You can see the difference. Look at her eyes. Her eyes are dead. Over here, she's coming alive. This last picture, this is why it took us, we just got this, okay? You have to bear with us. This is May. The last picture you see here is May. She has the, if you see the picture here, the first one in 2016, she has the old mask. I have, I have one of them over there, Scarlata. That's the prototype. She started on that thing. The one you see in the last picture, two, May of 2018, that's the mask we have here. And we will have them here. You can, you can try them and demonstra like, demonstrate how they work and all that. But the thing here, Madame von Home, 
She's a hummer. And she's been humming for almost four years. In October, she'll be 105. Now, where does she live? What is so cool about Madame von Hum is that she got moved. She got kicked out of the home. That happened last month. She no longer needed to be there. This is a person with full-blown dementia. We have her story over here, first five months of being on the mask. She now can wash, she can watch TV, she plays cards with her friends. She lives in her own apartment with a bed, with a bathroom, with a TV, with a kitchen. She's 104 years old, a person with full, she was, she was lost. She had no idea who she was. She didn't know her son. She didn't know anybody. She got on the humming mask four years ago and immediately started getting better and better and better and they kicked her out. That is a full-blown miracle, people. That never happens. Never. I got one more and then I'm gonna call it, okay? We have one other miracle here. She's gonna get all upset with me. She's really quiet. About two and a half years ago, when we had the prototypes, we got them in here because Garth got involved with us. We had 30 of them. She got one of them. Robin came to me. She got hold of one of the prototypes. Robin, in February, I think this was like two years ago, whatever that was, was diagnosed with macular degeneration. Anybody familiar with macular degeneration? Yeah. yeah. Well, she can tell you, she's over there in the corner that we have another miracle. Okay? Stand up, Robin. So I can see you. She's supposed to be blind, people. She can see. She can drive. She drove here herself. I, I got offered to drive her, but they made me get here too early. So she drove herself. She has a job. She has to have a job to keep the pay, pay her mortgage. When I first met her, she hated her job. She hated life. She was going blind. She's been promoted now. Amen to that. Okay, she's making more money. She's been on the mask. You get on the mask and you find out what happens. It'll change your life. I want to thank you, Tony and Amanda, for allowing me to be here. I understand this. It's the best deal in the house. I'll let Amanda talk to you about the deal for the uh, humming mask and the Maybe cryptocurrency. Let's have Cynthia Foster talk real quick. Her first? Thing. Yeah. All right. Okay, let me, you want to meet? You want to meet? Okay, I'll, I'll here. This lady has a mask too, okay? She is, uh, I've known Cynthia for quite a while. We, we, won't, we won't tell them how long. Uh, I, my business is probiotics. I've been in the probiotic business for over 20 years. Formulating, doing this long before it was popular. Okay, now it's everywhere. Cynthia Foster, we met, we've been working together for about 15 years now. She is an MD. She'll tell you a little bit about herself. We want to introduce her because what the kingdom connection, part of this community, is the health. What is wealth without health? Okay, that's why the mask is here. Because Amanda has a story. I have a story. Dr. Foster has a story. That's how we get in this business. Nobody gets in the health business to get, get rich. You know, you have a reason. And I'm going to get Cynthia up here, Dr. Foster. All right. Let her do some talk. She, know, she really knows what she's doing. Wow. Okay, well, Hal is right about that. I definitely have a story. How many times do you run into a medical doctor that's recommending you take herbs or drink fresh juices? 
or do a cleanse.